Thanks for sticking with us. If you are a fan of fairy tales and can't pick your favorite, the Jonesboro Repertory Theater has the perfect show that blends all storybook characters into one tale. Angela Grigsby and Kate Palmer join me now to talk about the theater's upcoming production of Into the Woods. We were just talking during the commercial break, and I'm a little excited because it really does blend every single fairy tale. Tell me about your character and where you kind of fall on the spectrum there. Well, I'm the witch, and uh, I'm typically the evil character, but I'm also a mom, and so I am very protective of my daughter and I want to keep her from the world and I'm kind of cautioning her about the princes and the wolves and the humans that are in the world and um, I end up having a lot of dynamics with her and also other characters in the, within the story. And your character? I play Cinderella's stepmother, so more of a foil, I guess, to there's there's a little bit less gray with my character, but she provides a little bit more humor. Um, there's This is a kind of a dark comedy show where there's some moments of humor, like with me and my family, and then there's some moments of um, real tragedy as well. So it's a very, a very heartfelt show. So it sounds like it's loosely based on it, but you guys are taking kind of a new meaning underneath it. Is that correct? Yes, it's the Grimm's fairy tales that we all grew up with, but then you're considering Little Red's perspective and, and what she felt when she met the wolf, or you're maybe considering um, really people like the stepsisters mm -hmm. and, and how they were feeling when all of these things were happening to Cinderella. And so it's it's sort of a backstory of some characters that we see. Now this show premieres on Friday and it will run for quite some time, I believe until June 2nd. Yes. So plenty of opportunities to check it out. Is it kid friendly? Because uh, that's what we always ask. We say, can we bring the whole family to this? Well, act one is probably kid yes. friendly. <laughs> uh, everything is kind of happy at the end of act one, but act two sort of takes a, a little darker turn. Um, and it's probably older children would be okay with this, but um, mm -hmm. not your younger ones. And it's a long show as well. They're really yes. up to the parents' discretion, but yeah, of course, be safer with the older kids and some great lessons that they can learn along the way. Certainly, mm -hmm. yes, and the music is phenomenal. Yes, yeah, so it's music as well. I mean, how many acts are we looking for? Oh, almost the whole entire show is music, and yes. they blend and, and wrap into each other, and it, it's amazing the way that Sondheim has just sort of blended all of these characters, and they're, as they each go into the woods, seeking out what they're wishing for. Um, mm -hmm. So it's, it's almost all music, actually. Yes, it's been very challenging, I think, for all of us as a cast to learn the music. Uh, the composer, Stephen Sondheim, is notorious for for writing some challenging music but it's been a fun um, experience to learn and to try to perfect all our entrances mm -hmm. and harmonies and things and I think I think we sound great <laughs> I'm very proud of our cast well and people can find that out for themselves by checking out any of the performances coming up thank you both we have all the information you need to know about JRT's performance of Into the Woods it's right there on your screen now opening night is this Friday May 17th at 7 30 p.m. shows will happen every Thursday and Friday at 7 30 Saturdays at 2 p.m and 7.30 and Sundays just at 2 p.m. But that's through June 2nd, so plenty of opportunities. We have a link to purchase tickets up on our website right now. We'll be right back.